Hey guys, welcome, 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 welcome to this online fast growth event. Um, super excited to be with you guys. I'm just going to give a few minutes. Um, we had about 85 people, 86 people registered for this event. So I'm just going to give people a few minutes to jump on this call. So there's a lot of people going to be coming in. So I'm hoping we got uh, 100 people licensed uh, and uh, not being able to get, um, you know, past that license. So who? Yeah, you know, few people are coming in. So if you're joining me now, come and say hi. Um, we've got a few people coming in. Hey, Craig. Hey, Steve. Hey, Mac. Hey, Damon. Um, Samit. Amit. Gee. Hey, guys. Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, Omer. Welcome, guys. Welcome to this. We're just going to get started in a couple of minutes. Uh, um, just waiting for people to join as i said earlier we have about 85 people registered for this event um so just waiting for people to jump on this uh hey mac colin welcome mitch welcome brother all right um just give a few minutes uh can you guys let me know if you guys can hear me fine um we have a few people jumping on this uh Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, just going to get started in a couple of minutes. Uh, so welcome. Um, we're going to be starting in a few minutes. Uh, hope you guys are doing really well. Uh, we got a lot of people jumping on this. Uh, sorry, I wouldn't be able to go through every one of your names. Um, but we're going to get started in a minute. Uh, just giving a couple of minutes to the people. Um, we got a few people registered, so just waiting for them to... Welcome. Hope you guys, uh, which part of the world you're joining here? Um, let me know uh, which part of the world you're from. Which part of the world you're joining this from? Whereabouts are you? Queensland. Cool. Gold Coast. Nice. Awesome. All right. Uh, where Tweet Heads. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Welcome. Welcome. Who else we got here? Where, where are you from? Where are you from? Melbourne. Yes. I know you from Melbourne. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Uh, who else we got? Where are you joining me from today? Where are you joining me from? Where are you joining? Newcastle, welcome. Canberra, welcome. Got a few people here. Awesome, guys. See, if you want to speak to me directly, please uh, put it all panelists. If you want to speak to everybody on this call, uh, just change the chat to all panelists panelist and attendees so you can actually see everybody's messages as well but if you just want to speak to me just put all panelists in the chat all right let's get started guys uh, we have a few people here so um, welcome to this fast growth online event my name is jack jessel if we haven't met i'm the founder and ceo of jessel media the number one marketing uh, agency for the fast growth uh, so did you actually know this coaching and consulting industry is the second fastest growing industry today, right? Mm -hmm. According to Forbes, it's about a $1 billion a year industry and getting bigger every year after year, right? So it's getting crazy at the moment. So um, if it's a $1 billion industry, let me ask you this question, right? Are you enjoying your share of this success? Uh, are the perfect clients, you know, coming down, beating down your door every day? Or, um, you know, you wake up every morning, you don't know where your next client is going to come from. Whereabouts are you in this, right? So, um, cool. Sorry. Um, yeah, there is a reason for camera. Can you see my slides? I think the camera is small because my slides are bigger. So, yeah, just see the slides, right? So, because of the slide, the camera is on the side. Cool. So the camera is small because of the slides. So who is looking to learn the fast growth? Like how the secret, secret is the fast growth, how to grow your business fast. Who wants to learn this today? Who wants to learn how to take your business to the next level, right? So uh, here I am today, right? My goal for today to show you guys uh, how to generate more high quality leads and close sales fast using this system, which we will call the fast growth system. That's my goal. So it took me about 18 years to get to this, right? So I'm not just waking up today and saying, okay, I'm going to run this event. So it took me 18 years to prepare for this. So I spent many years as an advisor, as a consultant, working world's biggest corporate, biggest 
companies and helping them make sales in that space. I used to sell hardware, uh, software for Oracle and IBM. Failed in 13 startups. I did a lot of startups in my early times. Uh, none of them were successful. I usually say that uh, it took me a uh, long term to learn it because I'm a slow learner in that space, right? I sold a business for $3 million and also grown this business to high six figures in the, in 12 months uh, and also helped our clients generate more than 10 million in revenue in sales in last many years. So my mission for this space is I want to help coaches, consultants, and a professional service provider create a freedom business and serve millions and make millions, right? So this is my mission. But the sad truth about this coaching and consulting industry today is anybody can call themselves coach and consultant, right? It doesn't take long, right? You can just call yourself coach and consultant anytime. So most charged by hourly rates, right? Most charge, most people charge by hourly rates. 90% of people make 70,000 or less, right? Most of them mainly work with one-on-one means that they trade their time for dollars and they work about 50 plus hours a week. It's kind of worse than a job working for somebody else, right? So I really appreciate you guys being here, right? So as I said earlier, we had about 85 people registered. All I can see about 28, 29 people here on this call, right? So um, I'll make sure I won't waste your time. I'll give you actionable steps to take after this. I will share the exact recipe which we implement, implement uh, you know, uh, our, our client space has pays us thousands of dollars to implement this exact recipe. And, uh, you know, I'll stay around for question and also we'll offer you guys the next step with us as well. Uh, some of you guys who wish to take the next step, who want to get to there quicker and faster, right? So um, this presentation is for you. If you are a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're a public speaker, digital marketer, or any sort of uh, professional service provider who are looking to grow their business fast, right? Who want to take the business to the next level, uh, who want to create a repeatable and sustainable business, uh, who want to create a system which creates a predictable results, right? That's the main thing. Uh, a system which creates a predictable results. So who this presentation is not for as well. If you are looking for a magic pill without an effort, right? If you're just looking for somebody out there who can actually, um, you know, help you make millions, uh, this is not for you. You don't solve a problem. Your business must solve a problem. And you are searching for all these, you know, get rich quick scheme. And also you have no intention to start uh, or running a coaching consulting or a service-based business, right? For the rest of the people, you know, let's get started. Uh, how to get most out of this training? Um, Turn off your phones, be present in this place, right? Take lots of notes because I'm going to share in the last uh, three years of uh, uh, stat and data with you guys today as well, right? So make sure you take lots of notes, write it down, everything, right? Uh, be present on this space, ask a lot of questions at the end, right? So I'll keep some time uh, at the end if you have any questions, right? So, so let's get started, right? Take a beat, deep breath. And be present in this space and let's get into the stuff, right? So I'll take you back into the three phases of my life, right? One of those phases made a huge difference in my life. One was 2010 when my son was born. Um, I used to work for a company and I, at the time I started to ask this question, you know, there must be more in life than this nine to five work, right? So there must be something else. So next five years for me was pretty struggle, right? Nothing kind of worked. I did a lot of startups. Uh, I, I was working on different places, doing startup after a certain time uh, and started to do different businesses, right? Joined in multi-level marketing, many other consulting startups, software startups, a lot of stuff, but I failed and failed and failed and failed. And pretty much every startup I did, I failed. So in five years of those trial and error, I failed in 13 startups and lost more than $200,000 in different business ventures, started creating a software and other things, but none of them worked. Um, so the biggest thing happened is 2015, I went to see this big man called Tony Robbins. Um, it was the first time. So um, he talked about a lot of stuff in four days, but this is one thing I remember. First, he said is find someone who has achieved the results you want and pay them to help you. See, I come from a traditional background, a university system where I've been taught that, um, you know, I, I must not look at other people's work. I must not ask for help, right? So everything I need to work out by myself. So what happened is I never asked for help in the business world as well. So, so Tony said is find someone who has achieved and ask for help. So this is what happened in 2017. We sold our company for $3 million. That was pretty crazy, right? So in 12 months, it just happened. And I'm going to share this with you guys how that happened. So after I sold it, uh, I actually had this question in mind. 
what do I actually want to do now? Now, what do I actually want to do, right? So number one thing came out of my mind at the time, I just want to teach people. I want to help other people, right? So this is what I wanted to do. And I said, uh, okay, now I have uh, runs on the board. I've done the work. I've made a business successful. I've failed in a lot of businesses. Now what I can do is help other people, right? So I started teaching. I started teaching a lot of people, but nobody bought anything from me. I was teaching, I was standing up and speaking and, you know, giving people a lot of value, right? A lot of value, giving people a lot of stuff, but nobody bought the next step from me. So even though I had many years experience, runs on the board, but board on, no, nobody gave me money. So I tried and tried again and again, but nothing happened. So 2017 or May 2017, this is what happened. We put a Facebook ad in, uh, you could see spent about 500 bucks. And by spending 500 bucks, I made a $0 revenue, right? $0 revenue. Uh, July 2017, same thing, 500 bucks and uh, zero revenue. Nothing happened, right? So I ran these classes. So remember what Tony said, what early on, right? Find someone who has achieved the results you want and pay them to help you. So I needed a coach, right? I spent about $200,000 learning from biggest people, right? From Tony Robbins to Brendan Bouchard to Russell Brunson to Frank Kern to Deepak Chopra, all these people from, you know, storytelling to stage selling to product creation to marketing to webinar to events, all these people, right? Spent a lot of time learning from these events and, you know, travel around the world and sitting in the rooms, right? So here is what I discovered, right? So my biggest problem was I had the knowledge, I had the skill, I had the experience, um, but I didn't actually know how to sell my package, right? That was the biggest thing. I didn't actually know how to sell my packages, nothing at all. So now you must repeat this to yourself, right? Repeat after me, you must learn to sell your packages, right? You must learn it. This is one thing you must learn that if you're selling one-on-one means that you're working with one-on-one -on -one client means that you don't have packages. One thing which is lacking is the packages, right? How to package your service. So what is a package? What is your package look like? Here's your package, right? Your skill set, your experience, your knowledge create a different package, right? That's why uh, two accountants can have a different package because accountants, not only the skill set, they bring in different uh, experience, they bring in different knowledge, everything is a different, right? So let me give you an example, right? So what does a package look like? Look at on the left-hand side, it's just the free flowers, right? Um, on the right-hand side, it's a package means that putting in a package together, given is people charge about 50 bucks for this, right? On the left-hand side, large pizza, pizza takeaway, you can actually get it for 16 bucks. Uh, on the right-hand side, combo, everything put together as a package is about $16 per slice with everything, right? Um, empty land has no meaning if you look at it, nothing at all. Put a shopping center on it, has got a um, you know, value under that. That's a package, selling the land with the package. Same thing on this side, right? Both these houses uh, or apartment looks exactly the same. On the left-hand side, it's just a private house, private apartment. On the right-hand side, it's Airbnb. Now you can see that difference, right? Airbnb, you make money. On the left-hand side, it's just a house or empty uh, private property, right? So it's not about your product. It's not about your service. It's not about your skill set, right? It's all about this thing called the PCD. And what is this PCD? It's called the package, how you communicate, and how you deliver it three things together, how you package it, how you communicate it, and how you deliver it. So here is the secret. Number one mistake every coach and consultant and the service provider are making today, right? They believe that, they believe that the product or the service is the most important thing. Product and service are the more important thing. Um, you know, let me ask you this question, right? Uh, have you read a book, right? So when you, you know, bought any book, any book you bought it, did you actually know what was inside the book? Did you actually read everything in the book? Then you go on and bought it. Or you just read the cover and you said, okay, I'm just going to buy this, right? So look at any concert you've been to. Like last year or earlier uh, this year, we went to Harry Potter. Uh, I've never seen that, but we still paid about $2,000 for the entire family, right? Um, why? Because um, they, they sold the tickets to us before even they you know, they put things together. So it means that um, all these things are 
you know, don't, don't spend time on creating a product or service. That's, you know, don't spend so much time putting the product together, putting a service together. It's about all about how you package it, uh, package, communicate and deliver. I'll tell you my problem, right? So what happened is when I got started in the journey is uh, this is what my mentor said. Frank was one of my early mentors. And I, Frank said to me, Jag, um, you know, I've got $100,000 on my palm uh, and I want you to take that $100,000, but I want you to give me something from your business. And uh, at the time uh, I was charging about two, uh, $250 uh, an hour, right? $250 an hour. Um, so I said $250 for one session if I'm charging with people at the moment. So I pretty much have to, if I want to do, uh, you know, take 100,000 from his palm, uh, from his hand, I need to pretty much do 400 sessions or 400 hours spending time with somebody uh, to make this much more money, right? So I just couldn't believe that for me to make $100,000, I had to do 400 sessions, right? Which was crazy to look at it. Uh, so what he taught me, the first thing he taught me was, how to package my services so this is what we did so what he said to me jack put everything together you can actually do for a client right write it down everything you could actually do for a client and let's make it a platinum package right do everything what can you do for a client and i wrote it down pretty much everything i could actually do for a client and then he said take something out and make it a middle level and take some more stuff out and make it a starting level right so this is how we created our packages so this is not that this was a starting when i created the packages uh, what we did in December 2017 we started this experiment called the fast growth experiment right to test everything um, so this is what happened so I put a Facebook ad in on the left hand side you can see at the bottom it's a Facebook ad um, you know it's about how much money we spent about 500 bucks right so you can look at on the Stripe account I have at the top. Uh, altogether, we spent about 500 bucks and I made about almost $8,000. So look at the, all these Stripe accounts. Can you see that I'm charging $997, right? In a previous slide, I said my packages were starting at almost $4,000, but I did charge $1,000. Why is that? Why is that? Why did I charge uh, 997 instead of 3997 when we decided to do the packages. Why did I do that? Can somebody tell me why did I do that? Why did I actually do that? Even though I was told that this is what it is, why did I actually do that? What's the reason I charge 997 instead of 3997, right? What was the reason? Anybody? Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't believe in myself, true. Absolutely. I didn't actually believe in myself that I could actually do it. So uh, I thought, uh, you know, I, I just couldn't charge more. Uh, I just couldn't, couldn't believe that I could charge more. Right. So, um, so this is what happened January 2018. Uh, and same thing what happened in March to May 2018. We had a lot of clients coming in, bought my high level platinum package and same, pretty much same thing, right? So paid about $2,000, $20,000 a month, 60,000 and my online stuff was still going on. So all together, ad spent $2,000 revenue was five two or five nine eight two, right? So 200% return on investment. June, we did the same thing. Uh, put an ad on Facebook, spent about how much? 3126 was the Facebook ad spent. And this is the prize when I started actually charging the real money because after some time, I actually started to have a bit of confidence, right? Before that, I didn't actually have the confidence. So this is what happened. Uh, ad spent 3126, revenue $22,000, right? 600% return on investment. So can you guess how many hours I was working during that time? So I was pretty much doing with 10 hours per week. Why is that? Why I was doing 10 hours per week? What was the reason, right? The biggest reason was my program was already done. My everything, the content and everything already done in January and February. Right? The only thing I was doing is repeating it. And I was only working with once or twice a year and doing three day programs with people. So per week, per hour was really less for me. So I wasn't actually working full time. So what happened was August 2018, we did the same thing. Same thing, Facebook ad, you can see about $3,000 and made about $32,000, right? Which is about 900% return on investment. Uh, September, the same scene, um, $1,500, 
$2,000. The reason for that was September was low because I ended up actually hiring somebody to help me because I wasn't, couldn't do it just by myself, right? Um, 650% return on investment. And after we hired somebody, the guy was up and running by October. Uh, we had the same thing. So now revenue jumped from the same ad spent we had uh, $1,500. Uh, to $28,000 pretty much, you know, return on investment. December was pretty cool, right? Somebody said to me, um, Jack, yeah, this works pretty well for your business. You're the guy who's doing the work. It won't work for my business, right? This is what somebody said to me. And I said, let's try this, right? So I actually gone out and uh, bought somebody else's program. Somebody else was selling the program. I bought it for about 500 bucks. And I said, let me try and see if I could actually sell that right to sell it to somebody else so i ended up actually selling one program so i spent about 15 1800 dollars and i sold one program right so what it means is the reason i'm showing this to you uh, because we tried in different places it's kind of worked in any industry you have um so i'm sure you get the idea right what i'm going to be teaching with you guys today is completely opposite to what everyone else is teaching right so today for today only, I just want to make sure that you park your O learnings outside, be a sponge. And after we finish, I just want you guys to try it. Try what we're talking about, right? So the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results, right? Most people want different results. Most people want different type of business. Most people want more revenue, more profit by doing the same action. You must change your action. You must change to something else to get different results so i i can you know i certainly can't do what you guys do for sure right i'm not good at everything but uh, from last three years i've mastered the science behind this fast growth right how to take your business to the next level uh so let me ask you this question who wants to know the secret uh who wants to know the secret to get results fast who wants to know the secret right Here's a secret used by the top one percenters today, right? So the secret is find someone who has achieved the results you're looking for and pay them to help you, right? Don't try to do everything by yourself. Don't be like me when I did it, spend five years doing a trial and error on this space, right? So what are you going to be learning today? This is what we're going to be going through. The fast growth system is... Uh, show you exactly secret number one is a perfect marketing system which capture the attention of your audience and generate unlimited quality leads right and number two is we're going to talk about how to get your prospect to know you like you and trust you in less than 24 hours and make them desperate to talk to you and number three things we're going to talk about is simple conversion model very simple which takes the warm leads to a high paying clients which pay you between three thousand twenty thousand dollars to work with you without being a sales you right so let me ask you this question what's the difference between mcdonald's and a local burger shop what's the difference so let me grab a water as well what's the difference tell me mm. yeah one is franchisee cool yeah what else what's the difference what's the difference? Yeah, yeah absolutely mcdonald's are systemized absolutely true right same thing what's the difference between kfc and a local fried chicken shop What's the difference between IBM and a local consulting or IT consulting company? What's the difference between Tony Robbins research company uh, and you, right? What's the difference? So the entire, the difference is nothing more than it's just a system, right? Nothing. It's just system. Doesn't matter where you are. If you walk into McDonald's here in Melbourne or here in your city, wherever you're from, and uh, you walk into McDonald's, they pretty much give you the same thing. Even though they have a 16 years old, 15 years old, uh, 19 year old kids working in McDonald's, right? So the system is, what is this system I'm talking about? System is when you give certain things as an input, it gives you a predictable output. Right? That's what the system is. You know how the output is going to be like when you put something in as in the system, right? So what I'm going to be sharing with you called the fast growth system. It's exactly the same thing. In last three years, we developed it. We made it so much. We played around with so much. Uh, we now know that it works really well with different niche. Uh, so number one is a perception marketing. Number two is an education system. Number three is a conversion process, right? And we're going to look at everything. So 
Here is our first quarter look like. We spent about $27,000 or $28,000 on Facebook marketing uh, and we made about $120,000. So it's about 300% uh, return on investment, right? So in three months, the first quarter uh, of this year. So these are the people who've been through our programs, our clients, all these people, right? They've been part of this. Um, so these are the messages we get in our private. Katie and uh, Scott and Katie is a perfect example. They are personal trainers. They help people. Um, and I, before I met, uh, you know, uh, Scott and Katie, I didn't actually know that personal trainers all make, you know, fifty, sixty thousand dollars per annum. They, they're pretty, uh, you know, industry is pretty big uh, in that space. So they made uh, about eight thousand dollars within two weeks of this, right? So, and Mitch is another example. He's a service provider. I asked Mitch, Mitch, you want to come to my workshop uh, next week? He said, Nah, twenty-five k worth work is done. Uh, a profit would be fourteen k once it's done, right? So this is this is the power of the system. I want to show you something as well. This is Brad. Brad is uh, in the music industry. Hope you guys can actually hear it. No, I made a sale. I'm crying. <laughs> so it's it's pretty cool, right? Thank you. So Brad just sent me this message when he made a sale, and he goes, uh, "You know, I just follow the system exactly." So after that, he sent me another message no, saying, I made a and after that, he sent me another message saying that you know, client number two is done as well. Uh, Three point five k sales. Uh, $400 in a bank account, uh, you know, cool. So this is another one, July, we got this year from another, um, you know, one of our clients is saying first 100K cash a month is done. Um, and uh, this system, which I'm going to be sharing with you guys has been applied in 30 plus niche market from marketing agency to business coaching, to personal trainer, to, you know, massage and remedial therapist, to accounting practice, to real estate agents, uh, consulting, dentist, landscaping, music school, kids tutoring, you name it, we pretty much applied it in pretty much 30 plus uh, markets now, right? So uh, here is the, the five big mistakes everyone making before they come to us, right? The number one thing everybody's doing or most people do today is doing everything all alone. They just do everything by themselves. And this is what I've seen, especially with the small business owners. They're trying to do everything by themselves, right? Uh, they're trying to find the answer by themselves. The other one is not following a system, right? So most people do the trial and error. Uh, and, and somehow they try to find the answers by themselves. Believe me, there is no problem in the business today, which hasn't been solved by somebody else today, right? So you don't need to reinvent the wheel all the time. So selling to everyone, everybody trying to sell to everybody, right? So doing too many things, they don't actually know what to focus on to begin with and also doing the overselling. So the answer is this fast flow system. If you do the system step-by-step, step, which we're gonna sharing with you, uh, the, you get a predictable outcome, right? So so you must have the marketing system which generate quality leads for your business, right? You don't need to worry about. So one of the biggest and biggest the problem I see is not knowing where your next client is going to come from. Right? Not knowing where your next client is going to come from. That's the biggest problem, right? Uh, and you must educate your potential client to introduce them how you can actually solve their problem. See, I'm, I'm a big believer of this, that the reason people are not buying from you today is because they don't actually know you can solve their problem. They don't actually know that you can solve their problem. Uh, conversion process, which is not a salesy. Look, I don't come from a sales background. Uh, I started my career as an IT guy, then moved into a marketing space. I'm not a sales guy. I've never done sales. So sales doesn't come natural to me. So I had to find a way uh, to become somebody and help people not being are sales, you know, trying to sell stuff to people, right? So here's the number one thing, marketing system we're going to talk about, how to capture people's attention and audience and generate quality leads, right? So here's the number one rule of this perception marketing. It's a farming, not hunting, right? We must be farming for clients. So how you can actually do it online. So it's based on the premise of, you know, more people know you, more people likely to trust you, more people trust you, more people likely to buy from you, right? So let's look at an example of this, right? So if you have 100 people know you, uh, 10 people likely to trust you out of 100 people, right? Out of 10 people who likely to trust you, one person will buy from you if they trust you, right? Same thing I did, uh, increase the numbers, right? 100,000 people know you, 10,000 people trust you, thousand people will buy from you. The only thing I did is just increase the numbers, right? More people know you, more people are likely to trust you, and more people are likely to, if they trust you, they'll buy from you, right? So 
how most people get their clients today, right? This is what's happening today. They put a Facebook post in some of the groups, um, you know, they put a post in about their business. They, they do referral and they meet people one-on-one and work with somebody They join different groups uh, and, and wait for the referral to happen, right? This is what happened. Most people wait for the referral to happen. They become a social butterfly. They just spend so much time outside trying to get the clients, right? Every time you go out and every meeting, you find certain people, they're always there. They're kind of social butterfly. They're everywhere uh, just because they believe that uh, meeting a lot of people and exchanging cards can give them business. So don't get me wrong, it's a good way of doing it as well. But my problem is it's a limited and it's not a predictable way of doing it. People do Facebook lives thinking, uh, you know, they're going to give them clients, blogs, a lot of content on the platform, right? They put a lot of stuff, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube, a lot of videos. Um, it's a random, it's not predictable. That's my problem. And that's what we have seen. Uh, I was doing the same thing, but didn't actually give a predictable. So who would like to know how to do this, how to create a predictable uh, and consistent business, right? Who would like to know this? I don't know. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yes, let's go through and, and And this is called perception marketing, right? So what is this perception marketing? We invented this world from our company uh, and we started calling it a perception marketing. Why? It's because of creating a certain perception in the marketplace so that people know you and your brand in the marketplace. Uh, they know you, they like you, they trust you. Um, they only want what you're selling before even you're trying to sell it. That's the main thing, right? They're, bef they're ready to buy. doesn't matter what you're trying to sell. So this is how it looks like. You have an audience, you have a content, you have a delivery, right? So it's, it's a perfect, is a perception marketing. So let's look at it, you know, the traditional way of doing it. So what you do is you nurture the whole audience. If you have a target market, you nurture the entire target market. Then out of the entire target market, some people become your warm leads. That means that they go and check it out. What do you actually do? They, they put their email address on your website. They exchange something. They download something. They register for your webinar. Once they do it, they become a hot lead. It means that they're ready to do a business with you. So the biggest step is the perception marketing is the nurturing people. You know, nurturing people so much. So the, here is what it is you need to do. Step one is audience. Find out exactly who's your target market. Who's out there you're serving? Who is your target market? Who's your target avatar? So here's my recommendation to you. Uh, don't just create a random people, uh, you know, saying that my target market is just 30 year old uh, male with two kids uh, live in this part of the world and married all that, right? It's a very random and you've never seen that person. So my recommendation would be put a picture and a name to it means that you already know that person say, uh, in this example, like Steve is here on this call. Um, I'll say Steve is my perfect target out there, right? Steve is our perfect target out there. So if I want to create a content, if I want to do something, I want to create based on what Steve would like. So put a picture image of that person. The other one is frustrations and pain. So find out exactly what their problems are. What are their pains? What are their frustrations? Find out their desires, exactly where they want to get to. What are their desires, right? So number two is before you're trying to create content, you must realize that this is what you need to do, right? So um, your content must, must be relevant, right? It's a relevancy. If the content is not relevant, it's just going to be really hard. Relevancy, you don't want to be, you know, people like Ty Lopez who just annoying because they're everywhere, right? So you must have a content which is relevant, uh, which is um, relatable, which is repeatable. So here's what it look like, you know, uh, when I say relevance, it, your content is relevant, uh, you know, is to the target audience, right? Whatever you're doing, is it relevant? So the other one is, is it relatable? Are you actually relatable to that person? Means that, um, you know, I can't start talking about Ferraris and buying a house in Turek when I have never bought it, right? So I can't talk about it because if I do it, people won't find me relatable because I'm just completely out of that, right? Repeatable. Repeatable means that whatever you're saying to your potential client, if they take action on that, does that or will they get the results? right? Is your process repeatable? The other one is delivery timings, uh, which is really important. It means at what time you should be running this frequency and what platform, what is the channel you're going to be running in? So here is an example of perception marketing, paid example of this, right? Video number one, video number two, video number three, four, five, six, seven, put in a sequence on Facebook and sending to your prospective or prospect clients, right? If they watch video number one, they go to video number two. 
they keep moving. They go through a Facebook funnel. Here is an example of what we did. We spent about, uh, I think it's about six, $700. It says uh, $700 uh, in here. And we made about $4,000 in this. So the goal for this is you become a, a big fish in a small pond. That's the goal of this perception marketing. Means that your clients see you everywhere online, right? People who like you, people who consume your content, they get to see you more. The people who don't like your content, they won't get to see you. Becoming an omnipresent for your client's world, right? And they'll see that this guy or this girl is everywhere. Why? Because you're becoming that omnipresent for them, right? That's a step number one. So if you spend about $500 to $1,000, you ended up producing about $3,000 to $20,000 a month. I'll give you an example of Helen. Helen is one of the perfect clients. She runs an accounting practice. Um, she wanted to introduce a new um, way of new they never did a, a tax return. So she got a high paying client in two months, made about $88,000 from companies, right? Uh, same thing with Steve. Steve is a business coach. He sent me this message about a few weeks ago. Uh, they now do a 50K in sales, right? Which is the first month they did it based on the entire system, what I'm sharing with you guys, right? So here's a warning for you. Your content has to be good, right? If your content is not good, uh, it's not relatable then it won't work. Your content must be relevant to your audience. You must know uh, who your audience is, right? If you don't know who you're talking to, it's just going to be really hard. Uh, it's not just retargeting. Remember this one thing. It's not just retargeting people, right? Not retargeting people. It has to be done in a very proper way, right? Your messaging must be right. Uh, if not, people won't buy from you, right? You must have a good message to market. Message to market is the most important thing, right? So let's look at the secret number two. How to make people uh, or your prospect to know you, like you, and trust you in less than 24 hours and make them to, you know, desperate to talk to you. So if people like you, they'll listen to you, right? If people trust you, they'll do a business with you. Can somebody tell me who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Yeah, Zig Ziglar said it, right? So how can we make people like you and trust you fast? How can we do that? Number one thing is you must educate them. You must educate them. Our brain can trick you to trusting people, those who educate us. Now look back in your life. People, whoever educated you, you have this trust right, for those people because they educated you about something, right? So it's really cool. Most people educate, right? Most people educate, but why no one is buying? Remember what I said earlier when I spent a few times $500 doing Facebook ads, I was teaching people as well, but nobody was buying from me. Why is that? So what I learned with time is education has three steps, right? You must, you must, must, must uh, run everything in a three sequence or three steps, right? This. Number one is you must build a belief in them. You must build a belief. Hang on, I'm going to take a pause, right? So got a few people here. So let me ask you this question before I get into this, right? So does it actually make sense? Does it actually make sense? Does it actually make sense? Are you guys getting the point? Right. If you want to educate people, it's really, really, really important. Number one step is you must build a belief in them. If you just educate people at the end of the workshop, at every other place, what people are going to do is they come and shake your hands and say, very well done. And thank you very much for teaching us and educating us. And they'll just leave. You'll stay in that friend zone. They will never buy from you. The reason they will never buy from you is because you haven't built a belief, right? Number one is build belief. Number two is teach them. Number three is support them. Let's look at step one. When you speak to sell, when you stand up to sell, when you speak to sell or influence people, you must build a belief, right? If there is no belief, means that they don't believe they can do it, they won't buy from you, right? They must build a belief in that, right? Number, if your prospect don't believe that they can do it or they can get the results the way you're getting it, they won't buy from you, right? Number two is after they paid you, after they actually pay them, then you actually teach them. You never teach them before that. See, uh, there is no pay, no gain. Means that people who pay, pay attention. 
people who pay, they pay attention. If people don't pay, they won't pay attention. I've tried it so many times. I've asked so many of my friends and relatives to sit in the room where people pay tens of thousands of dollars to learn stuff. And my friends and relatives came and stayed in or stood you know, in that room. Nothing happened with them. They didn't take any action because they didn't pay anything, right? So number three is after you taught them, then you must support them because people won't take action, right? People won't take action. You must be supporting them as well. So how do you teach them? Uh, you teach them through live events. You teach them through recorded videos like the way I'm doing it or webinar like live online classes. So number one thing is don't hold back, right? You could become a hero within 30 minutes, right? <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's keep the questions. So I'm going to answer that at the end, right? So let's keep the questions at the end. So I'm going to answer that. And I'm going to tell you because I ran the IT consulting as well. So I can tell you exactly that. Um, so how to get people to move to take action? They must feel these emotions, right? They must feel the hope. They must feel the trust. They must feel the excitement. And they must feel the urgency. If they don't feel it, they won't buy from you they won't buy from you, right? So the system I'm sharing with you guys, we tried the same system in our IT or previous IT consulting company as well, right? Same stuff, the one we sold it. So here's what it looks like. Number one is a perception marketing. Number two is your live events or your recorded video helping people to educate them, right? Number three is the objective of this uh, second one is to speak to people, book a call and you know help them on the call. So here's a number three, conversion process. And let's talk about the conversion process. How do you actually convert people? How to make a sale? How to speak to them to make a sale, right? This is in the step number three. So what is the conversion process? The conversion process is that converts a stranger to a high paying clients. That's the conversion process. So when you jump on people over the call, right? When you speak to your prospect, prospect. Um, what's your one job? When you speak to people over the phone and you want to convert them to buy from you, what's your one job at the time? Right? What is the one job you must do at the time? So here's my answer, right? The one job you must do is diagnosis, right? That's the one thing you must do on there. Most people, what they jump on the call, right? They jump on the call trying to sell stuff to people for them to buy it from you. No, number one thing you must do is diagnosis. Means that understand the problem first. Understand what they have. You must never, ever, 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 ever either coach them or consult them or either solve their problem or try to provide them the solution. See, this is what I used to think. And after doing 600 plus strategy calls like this now, uh, I learned one thing. If you try to solve people's problem on the first call and think that you're adding a value, they will never buy from you. Why? The reason for that is nothing happened for them. Right? You can not ever help other people in 30 minutes call. Right? You cannot ever help people in 30 minutes call. So never try to solve their problem or coach them or consult them. See, this is what's going to happen. When people are going to tell you a problem, they're going to tell that this is what's happening. You only have one job. Right? They're going to tell the problem anyway. So you have a one job just to say okay to them. Just say, okay, right? So you don't need to solve the problem on the call. On the call, you're jumping to do a diagnosis, not to solve their problem, right? Jumping the call to diagnosis. So what most people do is they're trying to sell their programs. They're trying to sell their product. They're trying to sell their services. This is what most people do. The reason we do a diagnosis is because we must sell a solution to the problem. You must understand what is the problem. What is the problem? And your solution, your service, act as a vehicle to take people from A to B. That's what you're doing. Taking people from A to B, that's what your solution is doing. So diagnosis call equals to sale. If you don't do a diagnosis call, it's gonna be really hard. People are just gonna say, thank you very much for your help. I'll let you know. This is what most time gonna happen. So here is an example of Colin. Colin Holloway uh, is one of the clients and see, he sent me a message the other day on Slack. Uh, he goes, got 10, you know, 10 customers in first one week, first time ever, only one in Newport and verb has gone nuts, right? So crazy, right? So this is the lead for that. Uh, Alex is a real estate agent. Alex sent me a message saying, brother, great news, 10K deal is done. Means that what he's doing is, he's got people coming in and buying his programs at the moment. So 
how to price your package, right? What is the average price of this packaging? If we talk about the package, uh, the average price in this country is about 3000 and above, right? So your price must be between uh, 3000 to $20,000, right? So here's the hobbyist. If you're one of those hobbyist people who would just want to do for hobby, right? Uh, here is what it looks like for hobbyist. Um, $250,000 per month on Facebook ads doing perception marketing generates about 10 leads. Uh, six people come and you know, view your education. Three people book a call. One person buy it is about $3,000 means that $250 you know, dollars spending on ad and you make about $3,000. Same thing with the part-time means that you spend about $500 bucks a month. Uh, 20 leads, uh, 12 people view it, uh, six people book a call and two people buy it. It's about $6,000, right? So full-time, if you wanna just go all in, uh, $1,000 per month, um, 40, 40 leads, uh, 20 people, 24 people view your education webinar or event or anything, and about four people buy it. It's about $12,000. So here is your 90 day plan, right? If you want to run through this, here's your 90 day plan, step by step. Step one is you must be really clear on your target market and the problem you solve. Right? must be really super clear on the target market. If you're super clear on the target market and the problem you solve, and then after that, you must be really clear on the destination, where you're taking them, where your clients are going, right? And then you must be clear on the path, how you're gonna take them to that destination. What is that destination look like? Uh, then you start creating your perception marketing content, uh, create the presentation to influence the one we talked about, and then you implement all these videos by spending $500. Uh, webinar or live event, whatever you wanna do, strategy sessions after that, then you enroll people. Take a picture of this and do step by step. And this is our step by step plan. This is what we do it with any clients who come and join us. This is what we're going to go through with every one of them people, right? We clear on, we give you the templates, we give you everything. We give you the templates, how to create a videos, what content you must be talking about on those videos. Uh, what, how to find out, you know, your client has got these frustration, these desired. Uh, we give you the interview questionnaires, go and speak to those people. So all these are available, but for you today, just go and look at this and take an image of this and do step by step, right? So if you do part-time, right, just, just to be realistic, right? If you just do part-time, uh, can you actually get two clients a month? You know, just a part-time, two clients a month, uh, which makes about $72,000 per annum. Uh, if you do this full-time, you know, exactly the same thing, the package and everything, can you get, you know, four clients a month with our help, right? So number one rule of a service-based business, right? And this is the number one rule. This is what I learned from my mentors that if you do one-on-one -on -one consulting, if you do one-on-one -on -one coaching, a business can take you up to six figure, right? No doubt about it because you're spending time and doing it. Um, but if you do one-to-many, means that you work with one-to-many clients and it'll create a multi-million dollar business because you don't have any restriction of time. You could work with one-to-many at any time, right? So you must remember this one thing. Success is 80% psychology and 20% mechanics. People who believe that, you know, the steps and all that, uh, these all steps are available on the internet, right? Everywhere people are doing this. Uh, the reason people are winning today is everything to do with the psychology, how you see the world. That's what making people win today. So do you want me to tell you the mistakes you guys are gonna make after this as well? So, we ran this so many times, so I know this now, that what mistakes most people do. So try to find all the answers before you get into anything, before you even get started. You're trying to find everything. You wanna see the end today before you get started, right? And same thing again, doing everything alone again, right? Trying to do everything by yourself, same thing. Trying to overthink everything, trying to solve everything with this mind. Remember this thing, right? And this is early on, which I learned in my life, that this brain, this mind is not designed to make you successful, right? It's a given. This brain is not designed to make you successful. The brain is designed to solve a problem for you. It's not designed to make you successful, right? Anything new where the growth is, it's gonna make sure you don't take those actions, right? So don't overthink it and not taking action. Some people just freeze. I was one of those people who just froze, didn't take any action. See, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Tomorrow is gonna be the same thing. So I can tell you exactly why this strategy won't work for you as well. 
right? One of the things is after working with, uh, I don't know, 200 plus business owners in 30 plus niche markets now, uh, I certainly can tell the reason, um, you know, why some people are successful and why some people are not. And the reason for that, this thing called the placebo effect, right? Uh, if you guys know the placebo effect by now, it's the same thing, right? If you believe in that, if I give you a sugar pill and you believe in that sugar fill, pill, you're going to be cured, right? Because you believe in that sugar pill. And uh, placebo effect has got an opposite as well, uh, which most people don't know. It's called the nocebo effect. Means that if I give you the real stuff, real thing, and you don't believe in that, you won't be able to, you know, you won't be able to apply this and be successful in that. So this is the number one thing. You must believe in that. So my mentor said to me a long, long time, he said, you tap into other people's belief until your belief kicks in right? You tap into other people's belief until your belief kicks in uh, to take you to the next level, right? So strategy shown here works 100%. I've got a lot of people, you've seen the testimonials, you've seen the work. Uh, we work with, you know, as I said, 30 plus business owners or 30 plus niche markets and 200 plus business owners. So it works exactly the same. It's a proven system, right? Uh, so now I want to show you, would it be okay for you guys to see that what, what's the next step, right? If we want to work together, if you want to take you to the next level, do you want me to show you, right? Do you want to know what's the next step is? If we want to work together, what is the next step look like? Let me know if you want to see that, right? Would, you, would, would it be okay? You want to see that, the next step? Cool. Thank you. Right. So here's what it is. I call this fast growth program. It's a 90 day program. Uh, it's a coaching and training program to teach you exactly everything what we talked about right? Called the fast growth program. Exactly the perception marketing, step-by-step -step teaching you how to do the perception marketing, then how to put an education system in and how to actually convert people. We give you our 12-step script, exactly 12-step script uh, to make people convert, right? Take them to the next level. So here is what's going to happen in this 90-day program. We give you access to our online program. Uh, we're going to do a three-day workshop in Melbourne with me. So you guys who are watching from the other part of the world, um, you know, all, you know, from interstate, you have to fly to Melbourne, right? So come and spend three days with us and we go through the boot camp and everything, right? So your personalized sales funnel, if you're selling something online, we'll design it, we do it for you. It's part of that. And we'll also give you a 21-day challenge to get you started, which is pretty cool program. Anybody gone through that program for mindset is one of the best program you ever do. We give you access to the Slack and also 90 days is going to be private coaching and, you know, working with me and my team members to actually help you build these packages. So this is what we're going to cover in our three day boot camp. Right? This is one of the best boot camps. Uh, you know, I've designed it. Um, you know, I'm proud of it. So I can talk about it. Uh, number one thing we're going to talk about your package, you know, your message to market and also the perception marketing. Right. Uh, Really important to create your package, right? I can't stress enough, you guys. Uh, you must have a package. You cannot work one-on-one -on -one with people because if you work one-on-one, -on -one, you're just limiting yourself. It's like working for somebody else. You must have a package. You must have things together. Whether you're selling ID consulting, whether you're selling something else, uh, you must have a message to market. You must create a perception. Uh, then day number two, we're going to talk about framing and frame control. This is one of my best topics. I talk about this all the time. Uh, framing and frame control is how to, how to frame and how to win the battles when you're trying to sell before you actually sold it, right? Framing works in everything, right? Now let me give you an example. I truly believe that everybody out there today is carrying a frame, right? They see the world based on their perception, based on their view of the world, right? It's really good to see. The reason people buy from you is because they see the world the way you see it, right? So we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to talk about steps of teaching. We only talk about three steps today, uh, but I'm going to give you exactly step-by-step -step strategy. And last one we're going to talk about, we're going to build your presentation. Means that if you want to sell something, somebody, you must have this belief building presentation means that you must help people build a belief that whatever you're showing them is going to work for them. And day number three, we're going to talk about sales and your no brainer, your no brainer offer, a 12 step conversion process and Facebook ads, how to put everything together in Facebook ads, right? So here is a catch, not a catch up. Here is a catch, right? Not a catch up. Here's a catch. A catch is that it's not uh, available for everybody, right? It's not available for everybody just for one reason. I'm a big believer of energy. 
I don't want to work with people who are not ready to take action, right? So here is what you must do is, I'm going to post a link here. Uh, this is the link. Uh, you must apply for this. All the details are available on this link. Uh, you know, look at this link, apply for this, fill the application form, and let's have a conversation about this. Uh, let me stop this. Uh, you can actually see my face. Uh, let's have a conversation about this, and I'm going to send this to everybody. Uh, here's the link. Uh, look at this. Um, look at everything in this space. Uh, fill this application form and let's have a conversation so we can actually take it to the next level. So, all right, let's open for question and answers. Like what is the question? So first question was asked in an IT consulting software development business, how to package a service and send like a product, like you mentioned. It's the biggest thing, right? IT software in itself is a product, right? So what we did is we, we created a software, right? It's the same thing, ID consulting is the same thing. What are you selling? In our business, we have everything in a package, right? So what are you looking at today on this page when you look at it? We're also selling a consulting, but everything is a package together to sell it as a product, right? If you look at this page, so what I'm selling today to you guys, it's a package. It's a package, everything put together, it's a package, right? This is how you sell any consulting. If you're trying to sell any consulting, it must be part of that package, means that you sell stuff. See, here is the biggest problem I found with people. If you're selling one thing, let me give you an example with IT example, right? So if you just do a Gmail migration, right? This is the service you provide to your clients. If you do a Gmail migration and you say to people, we're going to charge you $1,000 to do a Gmail migration, means that we move from your in-house, whatever the email software is, to your Gmail to, And then you solve that. So what people usually do is when they know that you're charging $1,000, they're going to do and shop around. Right? Shop around means that if anybody out there says to them is $500, bucks, they are going to think that $500 bucks guy is cheaper and it's better. Let's go with this guy, right? Package, what it does is when you put things together in a bundle, it's really hard for people to compare. People just can't compare, right? Because it's not proportional. Apple to apple, easy to compare. Big basket of fruit, you can't compare, right? Because it's everything together. That's why packages are really important. You must be selling packages, not services, not one single product. Sell a package because package is the most important thing. All right, any other questions? Any other question? Yeah, it is available right now. We're gonna get started on this, yes. Uh, so what do you do is, um, so the question here is uh, weekly coaching and mentoring, what happened on a weekly basis? So what we do is weekly, we do a group call and we go through one of the modules and trainings and everything, but also we open up for Q and A session as well. So every week we run a Q and A session. Yeah, this is, this is an after hours. We usually do it on Wednesday night at 7 p.m but the recording is available for next day as well. You guys can see it. Uh, if you can't make it, that's fine. Um, you can ask question. We can just answer your question in there and then we can actually answer it. Cool. Awesome. Good. Any other questions? All right, cool guys. Uh, you have everything. So I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with me today. Uh, look, uh, uh, apply for it. I'd love to speak to you very soon, but thank you for your time and uh, speak to you guys very soon.